Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, it's only been about 48 hours since I received a software update for my Gear S3, and that was actually a significant update as it brought the S3 right up to the same features that are in the Galaxy Watch, and by doing so, it bumped the Tizen operating system up to version 4. Well, as of today, Samsung has now started rolling out an update for Galaxy Watch owners. And if you do have a Galaxy Watch, and before you get too excited, this update, unfortunately, is a small one in comparison as the Tizen software version actually didn't change at all. It still remains the same as it was before, which is 4001. So if anything, this update is a very minor update and it's only being rolled out to address a few minor issues. Now, with that being said, I still think there is a reason for everyone to be optimistic here and particularly those that are fitness lovers. Okay, so what exactly is included in this Galaxy Watch update? Well, there's two very specific items that Samsung addressed in this update and one very generic one. The first one just calls for general improvements and bug fixes, but it doesn't specifically address what those are. And to be honest, I haven't seen any improvements yet myself. So let's just assume that these were general housekeeping fixes. Okay, the first specific update involves the heart rate monitor. Now there was actually a lot of online chatter about this when the watch was released last summer and many people took to various online forums to voice the issues they had with the readings. And by that, I mean many found them to be inaccurate. Now I can't personally say if this was the case beforehand because I always keep my auto heart rate monitor disabled because keeping it on does eat through your battery life faster and I don't have the need for it to be taking my heart rate multiple times a day. However, for those of you that do want to regularly check your heart rate, either for health reasons, or like I said, you're just very active and into fitness, and you like to be able to track the intensity of your workouts, then this improvement will be something useful for you, because as I said, many users have been complaining about the inaccurate readings for quite a while. And if you happen to be one of those users that experienced issues with the heart rate readings before, then I'd be very interested in hearing what your results are like after this update, so please let me know in the comments below. Now the other improvement that was included in this update revolves around the battery life, and I find this an interesting one because based on users' feedback online, I actually haven't heard much complaining about the Galaxy Watch's performance here. I personally found it to be quite good. It actually lasts about double what my S3 does, so I never found it to be an issue myself, but hey, if they can squeeze some more play time out of the battery, then I'm all for that too. Now, I haven't had a chance to test this component of the update, as I literally just installed it this morning. So I'm gonna wait until I drain my battery, then I'm gonna give it a full charge so I can evaluate its performance better. But again, I would love to hear from you guys. First, have you ever had an issue with the battery draining quickly on your Galaxy Watch? And secondly, were you able to see an improvement in the performance after the update? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Okay guys, this was just a quick video to let you know about this newest update and of course, this time it's for the Galaxy Watch owners out there. And it looks like that Samsung is following the same release path as the one they released yesterday, as many Canadian and US users are now starting to receive notifications. And if you haven't yet, then make sure you do a manual check to see if you have an update waiting. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then you know what? Show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends because with your support, it helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.